Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Now in this video, you guys asked for it. I've got a brand new Android TV launcher for you. Now I'm currently on my Nvidia Shield TV Pro and we all know the setup here. Tons of content, but with tons of ads. So to say the least, it's very frustrating. But of course there is a solution to this and it's Android TV launchers. And this Android TV launcher I'm showing you now is absolutely feature packed and it's absolutely free. And it's available on the Google Play Store. So straight away, you can see all those adverts are gone. And most important of all, those pesky live trailers are gone. Everything is arranged in a nice, straightforward, simple manner. And the cool thing is, it picks up all your applications and all their features. So here you can see I've got a program from my Amazon Prime account. And if you've got a Netflix account, they'll also be available here. So in all, it's got the same features as Android TV and more, and it's highly configurable, as I'll show you, but without the clutter. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, so the first cool thing about this launcher is the ability to organize your app drawers on the go. Just click left on your D-pad and the following mini menu will come up. So from here you can edit any one of your app categories by simply clicking on the cog or you can organize them how you want by moving them up and down on the home screen by clicking on the up and down arrow. As you can see here, I'm able to move TV apps up or down. And these options are available for each app shelf, giving you a quick and easy way to organize your home screen from the home screen. Now we can delve further into the settings by pressing on the cog icon on the top right hand corner. And the first thing we can do is edit our categories. So if we select that, we get the following menu pop up. And the first thing we can do is create a new category. Let's say I want to create a category for my favorite movie apps. So I'm just going to create the title movie apps. Now from this menu, I can also choose to make it visible or non-visible. Now my new category is only visible as soon as I start using it by putting an app into it. Now I've also got the option to choose if my category occupies multiple lines on the home screen. I can also toggle on or off the app names in the categories. Maybe I want to save a bit of space. And I can also change the size of the app thumbnail in the category shelf. And lastly, of course, I can delete the category altogether. Now to see this new category I've created, we need to add an app to it. So I'm going to scroll across until I find an app I want to add to my new category, long press it, and I'll get this following menu, and I'll get the option to add it. And from here I can choose my new category. And there you go guys, you can see my new category has been created at the top, and I can keep on going by adding more applications. So let's say I want to add Netflix, long press, and basically go through the same process of adding it to my new category. And as soon as you select it, it just pops up in that category. Now it's worth noting here that if I just selected move to, it would add that application just to that folder and not copy just a shortcut to my folder. So this is useful if you don't want to have two copies of the thumbnail on your home screen. Okay, so I've got my new movies category and I've got my favorite movie apps in there. Now, like I mentioned before, I can adjust the way this looks and I go into categories, select the category I created. And of course, I can make it visible or invisible, give it multiple lines on the home screen choose to show the app names or not to show the app names and my favorite increase or decrease the size of the thumbnails in the category so i'm going to choose to make it very small and we're going to see what it looks like on the home screen so it looks small but you might want it this small depending on the size of the screen you're viewing it on so it's definitely useful to have this option now the other cool thing you can do with this launcher is edit the channels that are available on the home screen so in the settings select the edit channels category and from here we get the option to add any of the channels of the apps we've got installed so let's say you've got Netflix, you can choose to have it visible or not visible. So here I've selected it to be visible and straight away you can see the Netflix content appearing on the home screen. And of course you can change the way this looks on your home screen by increasing the size of the thumbnails. Now of course you can go back to settings and choose as many channels as you want. You're only limited by the amount of media apps you've got installed on your device. So Plex, yeah definitely I'm going to get some of that, make that visible and straight away on the home screen it all pops up. And here, Pluto TV, we've even got all the categories listed out separately. And I can go into any one of these and make them visible. So at a glance, I'm able to see exactly what I want on the home screen. Just what you want when you want to zone in on just the content you're interested in. As you can see, there's a whole lot of categories to choose from here. Now, of course, if you've got an Amazon Prime account, you can choose to view that content as well. Just select it, select visible, and boom, it's there. And as I'm not too interested in my Amazon Prime videos, I'm going to make these a lot smaller. And it's as simple as that. You get to choose how your home screen looks, what's on it, and how big and small the icons are, depending on what you're most interested in. Now, if you have got the VLC media player installed, you can also bring up your own videos on the home screen. And of course, not forgetting YouTube, you can have all your YouTube recommendations, subscriptions on your home screen and tailor how they're seen there. Okay, so for this example, my home screen is looking pretty cluttered, but I just wanted to show you what can be done with this launcher. Okay, so currently when you press your home button on your remote control, it reverts back to the Nvidia Shield home screen. So obviously we don't want that happening and the way around this is as follows. 
Go to Settings on your default home screen, scroll down to Device Preferences, and then go down to Accessibility, and then make sure that Project IV Launcher is set to on, and this will ensure that it stays on the Project IV homepage when you press the Home button. Now there is just one more step, and that is to go into the Launcher, go into the Project Launcher Settings, select General, and make sure the Override Current Launcher tick box is checked. OK, so let's test this out. Let's go into the Internet Browser. And if we press the home button on the remote, you'll see that we go straight back to the Project IV homepage and not the NVIDIA Shield homepage. Now there are some other cool things we can do with the appearance of this launcher. Just go into the settings, scroll down to, to launcher settings, select appearance and then categories. And what we can do here is actually change the opacity of the unselected category rows. So I've set the opacity to 30% and let's have a look at what it looks like. So if we look at the rows below the selected category row, you can see it's faded to 30%. So it looks a lot lighter and see-through. And this makes it more easier to navigate through the home screen. Now another cool thing we can do with the appearance is change the size of the cards. Just go back into the settings, select cards, and you can change the size of the cards from 120% all the way down to 80%. Now the other great thing we can do is change the background of the launcher. Head on back into settings, launcher settings, select appearance, and then scroll down to background. Select the launcher wallpaper option, and this is where it gets really cool. You can basically select random wallpapers from Reddit. Yeah, you heard me right, Reddit. You've got all sorts of categories to choose from, as you can see. Sky, Animals, Dolly. I'm going to choose Cars. And then just go back to the home screen and you'll see, bang, your wallpaper is there. And I must say, it's done a good job. I'm loving this wallpaper. Now, there's also a few other things that this launcher can do. Just head back into the settings. Project IV launcher settings. Scroll down to Appearance. And right down to the bottom, you've got Status Bar. Now from here, we can choose to show the system status bar, show the time, which is definitely a handy option to have. Now this launcher also gives you access to power settings. Just head over to launcher settings and then scroll down to power. And from here, you can do a number of things. First of which is to launch any app you want on booting. So if I had something like mouse toggle, I could start that up automatically as soon as my device turned on. But as you can see, any of these apps can be turned on at boot. And from here, we can also prevent the system from automatically shutting down when it's idle, just by ticking the checkbox. And on that note, we can also enable internal idle detection and decide what to do if the system does become idle. Now coming back out from the menu, we've also got access to parental control, where you can set a parental code to access the device and set up various options to do with control. So I think you'll agree, guys, this is a pretty handy TV launcher to have on your Android device, especially as it's free and it's got so many premium settings. Now the name of this Android TV launcher is the Project IV Launcher and it is available for free on the Google Play Store. So just head on over to the Google Play Store and type in Project IV Launcher. So that's P-R-O-J-E-C-T-I-V-Y and it should pop up after that. And it's just a simple, quick install. And once it's installed, you'll find it in your app drawer. Now the first time you open it up, it'll give you a little introduction about what it can do, what it is, which I find pretty amusing because it's like a little TV show and it's very well presented and done. And at the end, you'll get a little message asking you to allow TV Launcher to read all the TV listings on your device. Just select Allow and you're on your way. After you press the Get Started button, it'll take you straight to the home screen. And you can get started customising your own home screen. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and please do consider subscribing for more useful videos coming your way. And with that guys, I hope to see you in the next one.